guys, it's Jody. Today's video, we are continuing our experiment with the Ready Pour paints. Except this one, we're going to be using the Arteza Ready Pour. And I explained a little bit about it in my last video. This is kind of a two part. So if you missed that one, I suggest you watch that one and then come back to this one. We, what, in a nutshell, <laughs> what we're, what I am doing is I'm taking the Ready Pour paints and I'm testing them out as is right out of the bottle and then also adding some gel gloss in them to thicken them them up a little because as in the blooms technique you really want your pouring medium a bit thicker than your normal traditional uh, pouring mediums with fluid art like Liquitex or Golden they tend to be on the thinner side because that's a different kind of a fluid art blooms technique you want things a little bit thicker uh, so that the cell structure can hold you know the integrity of it and you know the cell activator you're using as it sinks down, your cells still hold and they don't disintegrate as you're stretching and moving. They don't disfigure and they don't disintegrate and then they dry well too. So <laughs> that's what we're doing here today, Arteza. So first thing we're gonna do is we're going to test these straight from the bottle. And I'll test again, both with the Australian flow trial cell activator and the US flow trial cell activator, like in the last video. And then we will mix these up again with the gel gloss and then we will test those. So let's, let's go get started. All right. And again, we're gonna be using a six by six canvas for our testing purposes. And as with every, every other video, all of the items used in here will be at the beginning of this video in snapshots and down below in the description box so you can uh, see exactly what's being used if you miss it as I'm uh, talking through it. So I'm going to show you the colors I've picked out. Again, we're doing the Arteza pouring colors. I've got their gold. I've got their forest green. And I've got their sea green. And then we're both going we're going to be using both the Australian flow trial cell activator with uh, the Amsterdam oxide black. This is mixed four to one. And then we've got the US flow trial cell activator recipe mixed with the, uh, uh, the uh, Amsterdam oxide black at nine to one. And those are the consistencies. The pillow I'm gonna be using is the same, the Glidden Premium in Satin. Just put a little bit on there. Spread it out just a little bit. And I think I'm gonna use this gold first and we're just gonna, and I will show you the consistent, when we mix up with the gel gloss, I'll show you the consistency of what's in the bottle as, a, as opposed to when we mix up the gel gloss. Those will be forthcoming. Right now we're just, I'm just squirting it straight from the bottle um, onto the canvas. and. The first thing I noticed, because the last video we used the Artist Loft, and those were super thin, as you saw. These have a little bit more thickness, a little bit more body to them, straight out of the bottle, which is interesting to me. At least that gold one did. This, I mean, they're still super thin but it's just maybe a touch thicker than the Artist Loft. And that just is gonna vary depending on the brand. And if you have a different brand, I encourage you to try it. These are the two that I had to try uh, in my studio. Now this is the Forest Green I'm gonna be adding. Like so. We will start with the Australian Floetal first. A little bit in the middle like so. Ooh, very responsive with the, uh, where's my straw? with the Australian flow trough. That blew out really nice. I have noticed with these, uh, when it mixes with the white and, and white spots, with since this is satin, it's acting like um, a satin enamel where it's making a little bit of a cloudiness to it. 
uh, when the white comes up. So just something to think about. And I'm just, I'm just noticing my observations. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little bit more pillow. I'm going to probably make a little bit, little swirlies in here and we're going to spin this out and see what happens. So I'll meet you over there at the spinner box. All right. Here's what it looks like before we spin it out. As you can see, some of the, uh, pillow paint is coming up and I even did a swirl with it. I want to, I just want to see what it looks like blown out. Um, if the integrity of the paint changes, I'm just, I'm looking for a lot of different things in here. You know, the structure of the cells, how the pillow with it being house paint interacts with these paints, uh, all of it. So we're going to spin this out and see what happens. Wow, look at that, right? I mean, right off the bat, I can tell you the integrity of the cells are a lot better than uh, with what you saw with the Artist Loft. The Artist Loft was very thin, uh, but it almost looks like, and I'll, and I'll point that out uh, in the flyover, these, the, the webbing, it's very thick. It almost looks like a marker but it's but the cell activator isn't thick there it's 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 an interaction between the paint and the cell activator it's kind of cool let's just give this one more spin i think uh yeah we're not moving all right here's what it looks like and then uh, we're gonna bring you back over and we're gonna test out the u.s flow trial cell activator with these paints all right now we're back to do the uh, same thing, but we're gonna be using the US Floetrol Cell Activator. So same pillow, the Glidden Premium and Satin. Spread that out just a little. All right, I'm gonna be adding the gold down first. Then the Sea green. And then the forest green. I love how they call it forest green. However, it kind of looks more like a, a dark teal. All right, I've got the US Flow Cell Activator. Again, this is the mixed with the Amsterdam Oxide Black at 9 to 1. It's a little bit thicker. I'm going to let that sit for a second till I see the halo, and then I'm going to start blowing it out. Not a lot of action with this cell activator. All right. <laughs> We're experimenting, right? And it looks like the, uh, at least the cell, the US cell activator uh, at the higher ratio doesn't work. I don't have any of the US Floetrol cell activator with like the Minwax pre-stain and the glue. I don't have one of those um, mixed up to try this. Um, but we're going to spin this out anyways and see what it looks like. Maybe I can make some cool little patterns. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of pillow paint and then I will meet you over at the spinner box. All right, here it is before we spin it out. I let it sit for a little bit and no cells showed up. So I just added a little bit of interest, little swirlies in and things like that. Just, just for testing purposes. So we've got something to go by. Let's spin this guy out and see what happens. The colors themselves are amazing, but the US Floetrol, at least out of the bottle, does not work well, uh, at least with the recipe I used here. The, uh, we don't know what else, what's gonna happen with the gel gloss, we're gonna find out, but 
me just spin this one more time going this way. No cells, but really cool colors and super cool effect. I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a quick flyover of both, and then we're gonna get started mixing the gel gloss in. All right, here is the first one we did with the Australian Floetrol. I mean, those cells just held. I mean, they're hanging on, but if you can kind of see the cell activator, it almost looks. I mean, it looks like marker. Uh, like there isn't. You know, I wasn't heavy handed with it. You know. Uh, where sometimes if you put too much cell activator on, you know, it looks like there's a lot there. It's just throughout. This is just the way uh, it's intermixing with uh, whatever is in these paints. However, I am seeing, do you see all of this? The paint separation here on the sides and a little bit right here. And it's happening on this side too. So that is no bueno. You really, you do not want that. I mean, it's starting to happen in the middle too. It could be it, the interaction with the pillow paint, maybe um, using it with uh, an acrylic paint base as opposed to a house paint base might uh, be different. Here is, well, <laughs> the US Flow Trial Cell Activator that, that was, <laughs> that couldn't produce. But I do like the, uh, just the colors in general. I think they're just really pretty colors. But it's, again, it's happening on the side, and I don't know if it's, you know, just these paints, if they're going to do that way with any paint, or if it's just what's happening, mixing it with the house paint base. So now we're going to go over and we're going to mix it up with the uh, gel gloss. Have I told you how much I love experimenting? <laughs> This is so much fun for me. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix up the uh, Ar the Arteza with the gel gloss. But as you saw, there was some paint degradation, which, I, you know, I, I, it can happen, especially since these, uh, I mean, these paints, you don't know what they're mixed with. They're already poor. And I don't know if it's something that's being... Uh, contributing to from the flow trawl or the house paint being used underneath or if it's just because it's not really happening you know on top as you saw where all the paint was but it's only where it's interacting with the the house paint so that very well could be so maybe um these paints will work better with uh, an acrylic paint like an artist loft there flow acrylic you know thinning it down and using that so now we're going to get to mixing. All right, same as like last video, I'm going to mix up one on camera because we'll be here forever. It takes a little bit to mix up this this gel gloss into the the paint. So I'm going to be mixing it into a one ounce, one ounce, these are little, the little shot glasses I get at the Dollar Tree. I mean, you can get them anywhere, but they're one ounces and I'm going to fill it about halfway. So it's about half an ounce. Or if you want to do a little bit less, that's fine too. Um, and... and <laughs> This time, let me remember to show you the consistency of it out of the bottle. These are, these do appear just a, a little bit thicker than the than the Artist Loft. They have a bit more body to them and they kind of leave a little bit of a trace. You can see, <coughs> excuse me, you can see that. I'm just gonna take just a little bit of this uh, heavy gel gloss. Probably about that amount. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit back. And if you put too much in, it's okay. Just add more of your paint. If you put, you know, too little in, add a little more gel gloss. It's, you know, either or. So I'm gonna put about that much in. And we're gonna mix, 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 mix. If I can get it off my stick. <laughs> And same with last time, the uh, Artist Loft paints. I'm gonna let these sit um, because I'm, gonna, I'm mixing pretty vigorously and it's gonna introduce bubbles. And so I'm gonna let them sit. They may thicken up a little bit more as they sit depending on um, you know how airtight. I usually, for when I mix things up in, in containers or little cups like these, uh, I'll usually just throw some press and seal on it and it seems to seems to be pretty airtight but you just want to mix this up really well just to get all the uh, gel gloss incorporated I can still see bits in there 
And as you're, one more thing I will say, as you're mixing, if you find it's just, you know, it's not thick enough or you want it a little bit thicker, add a little more gel gloss. I mean, there is no right way to thicken it. I, I'm, this is purely experimental. Add a little bit more, but what you don't want is it to be thick and gloopy, obviously. With any paint, you don't want it thick and gloopy. You want it to run nicely off the stick. So just keep that in mind. All right, I've got most of it mixed in, but it's still a little bit runny. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the gel gloss. That. I'll just add a little bit more. All right, I think this is pretty well mixed in. I'm eh, there's there's a couple of small little, but I mean it's it's got a thicker consistency than what it was. <clears throat> I am going to uh, mix up the rest, let these sit for a day or two. And then we're going to come back and test these. All right, on to the next segment of our testing with the Arteza uh, Ready Pours. I have, this is two days later now. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I uh, let the paint sit for two days just to get the bubbles out and to see if they would thicken up any. So here is the gold now with the gel gloss in it. It is thicker. Uh, than it was straight out of the bottle. Not as much as uh, it didn't, they didn't, they don't thicken up. Even though I used probably about the same amount of uh, the gel gloss, the artist sloth were super thin, as you saw in the last video, and they thickened up really nicely. Th this, I mean, it still does leave a mound, but they're still just a bit thinner. However, they reacted a lot nicer. Here is the I forget which color this is. <laughs> the sea green. This one thickened up. It's got a nice thickness to it. And then this was the forest green. This one actually, I mean, they're paints, so each one of them is going to have its own density. And this one was thicker to begin with, so it does have a, th it's thicker than probably all three of them. But we have the gel gloss in them, and we're going to test it out. Uh, just the same. However, I've, I'm I'm doing an experiment within an experiment now. Uh, based on what we saw with the, the last two tests, right out of the bottle, I used the, for the pillow, I used the Glidden. You know, the Glidden Premium Satin that I normally use for blooms, and it worked really well with the Artist Loft. Uh, however, you saw how it degraded the paint with the Arteza. You know, there was, so, there was some kind of mixture going on, so I thought, okay, let me see if I have something different to try. So I did, uh, I did find, I did have some of the Artist Loft, the Flow Acrylic in white. So I have mixed up, this is a 16 ounce cup and uh, you can't see it, but there's, there's a line like right here. If you have a 16 ounce cup, the cups, they usually have two lines. So I filled this cup probably about 14 ounces just of Floetrol. Uh, US flow US flow trawl and then I just started squirting in the uh, the artist loft the white the flow acrylic I don't have a measurement on it because I was just looking for consistency and I mean this is thinner than the glidden I usually use but I wanted to try a different paint that wasn't the satin just to see if it made a difference so this is what we're using for pillow today and another switch, <laughs> the the U.S. Uh, Floetrol cell activator that we used, it did absolutely nothing with these Arteza paints. So I went back and I mixed up my old U.S. Floetrol cell activator mix where, you know, uh, and, and I'll put the, the link to the video. I think the video number is 16. I'll put the recipe also down below in the description box. Anybody who is looking for that or having trouble with the U.S. Floetrol at a higher ratio. But, you know, this one has the pre-stain, the Minwax, and then the glue and the ink, uh, the Amsterdam paint, all that good stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to go into too much detail. That's, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> but we're going to use that for our cell activator for the second piece. So... With that, 
let's put our pillow down. And it is much thinner than what we're used to or what I'm used to with the blooms, but that's okay. And I think I probably mixed up too much, but that's all right. All right, and this is, I mean, I've never used uh, acrylic paint with the blooms, so this is another good test to see if it works. All right, the first one I'm gonna put down is the gold. A little bit more, there we go. That should be enough. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna put the sea green down. And then the forest green. And I might come back. If this pillow actually works out with the artist loft, I might uh, do another quick test with the straight out of the bottle to see if it'll work. All right. Now the first cell activator I'm going to use is the Australian Filtrol with the uh, Amsterdam Oxide Black. All right. Ooh, very responsive. Let me get my straw out here. Super responsive with the uh, Australian flow trawl. Here's what that looks like. I am going to put just a little bit more pillow and then I might do a little swishies and I will meet you over at the spinner box and we'll see how this spins out. All right. And there's what that looks like before we spin it out. So I did add just a little bit of pillow paint. I am seeing white pillow coming up. It doesn't look like it's degrading, but it is. I don't know if it's gonna swallow it, so we're gonna find out. Let's give this a spin. Wow, <laughs> that was a really fast spin. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that myself. Move this over just a little bit. Actually, what I'm gonna do is that up. Not seeing a lot of movement. I did notice with this uh, uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, the pillow, it's not as it's not as springy as uh, house paint. So it it was having trouble coming back up when I was blowing in the middle with the straw. So that is one thing I did notice. But I mean, it has a really nice response. I don't know about some of these white. Uh, white bits coming up, but let's give it one more spin just to get more going down the sides. All right. Whoops. <laughs> There's that guy. And we're going to go back and we're going to test it with the uh, US Floetrol cell activator. All right. Last test. We're still going to use the uh, same pillow, the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic mixed with the uh, US flow trawl. Put the gold down first. Alright, and again, the cell activator is my older US Floetrol cell activator recipe where it has the Minwax pre stain. And I just mixed this up uh, maybe, you know, 20 minutes ago before I uh, started filming this segment. But here is the consistency of it, if you can see it. 
And again, I will put, it is video number 16, way back in the beginning. <laughs> um, and I will put the recipe also down below in the description box, as well as the link to this video if anybody's interested. And again, with the US flow trial, sometimes it takes a little bit longer to sink than the Australian flow trial. So you have to wait for, to, for till you start seeing that halo and then blow it out. All right, it has sat long enough. We're gonna blow this out. Definitely getting cells with that Minwax. They're different kind of cells, but there is definitely response unlike the uh, U.S. flow trial cell activator with the higher ratio. This almost looks like a starry effect. There's a lot of little tiny cells. Very interesting. <laughs> That's what it looks like from up above. All right, I am going to probably just spread this pillow out to the edges. May put a little swirls in there and I'll meet you over at the spinner box so we can see what comes of this. All right. Here is what this one looks like before we spin it out. The middle is still pressed down uh, again with the um, with this pillow that I'm using, the Artist Law Flow Acrylic and the Flow Trawl. It's not springy like house paint, so it is uh, it is a lot slower to pop back up in the middle. Which, if you're going to be tilting, could pose a problem. Or if you blow too hard and get it stuck, it may not come back up. But that's neither here nor there. These are just experiments at the moment. And now we're gonna spin this out. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you can see, I mean, with the, there's a lot of little micro cells in there and what did, uh, what did blow out? I mean, it looks super cool, but it's not the cells we're looking for. <laughs> These aren't the droids you're looking for. <laughs> Uh, I'm a Star Wars nut, so. But I can see tiny little microscopic ones in there that look so cool. But th overall, I mean, maybe maybe the cell activator just needs to be adjusted a little bit, adding a bit more of the um, minwax, uh, yeah, the minwax or something else. I mean, or it could be interacting with something in the Arteza paints themselves. That is why we experiment. Here's what that one looks like. I am going to get cleaned up and then I'm going to give you a quick flyover of both of these. All right, here's the first one we did. Try not to get my light in there. This was with the Australian flow trawl. And I don't know if you can see in the middle. Nope, it's popped back up now. But yes, if you can see along the sides, it's still doing the same thing, the paint degradation, which leads me to believe it wasn't the house paint. It's something, um, it's a reaction with the Arteza pouring paints, the ready pour paints themselves, but the cells it makes is just nuts. And also the white, uh, the white spots that are popping up, they don't look like those, you know, satin enamel pearls or clouds, like, unlike when we used the, uh, house paint. So, this could be an option if you're using something like maybe for a skin where you don't have to worry about the sides or maybe a wood panel where again you don't have to worry about the sides and it's just the top or even tiles. I think you know tiles probably might work too. This could be an option and then here is the oh, the US flow trawl cell activator. <laughs> Does not work well <laughs> with these Arteza ready pour paints. And it's getting the uh, the paint degradation on the side as well. So it I it's not the pillow. I think it's just the reaction with the Arteza paints themselves. All right, there's those two. I will be back to show you the dried results of these, and we will go from there. And I'll give you some final thoughts. And I'm back to show you the results of the experiments with the Arteza Ready Pour paints, and. Uh, I mean, I have mixed emotions about them because 
they responded well with the Australian Floetrol, but uh, the paint separation, this, this might not be a good option. But I'm gonna, I, I wanna show you exactly how everything dried and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So uh, this first one here, I wrote it on the back, uh, with, this was Arteza straight out of the bottle and we used the, uh, the Glidden Premium, the Satin Pillow, and then the Australian Floetrol Cell Activator. So, I mean, it responded really well. And, it, you know, it has a, when I was saying, what I was trying to say was it kind of looked almost like a marker, if if you can see just the lines. It gave it a different, different type of a line almost. But this is, and it, and it happened on all four sides is not acceptable and it was kind of starting to bleed in here and i originally thought it was from the glidden premium uh the the pillow so then we switched over to the artist loft acrylic paint with floetrol to see if that would um, um if that would change anything and i'll i'll show you how that dried in a second but here is the uh, again the arteza straight out of the bottle uh, again with the pillow, the 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 Glidden Premium satin pillow, and then the U.S. Flow Troll at the high ratio, and we got nothing. <laughs> I mean, it dry. These 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 paints they dry really cool. I mean, this is definitely not what I was going for, <laughs> so it's kind of a disappointment. And we did get the paint degradation on the side, um, but I know these these paints have their place somewhere maybe just not with bloom's technique <laughs> all right and then this next one i'm going to show you is we mixed up the arteza with the gel gloss and this one i did a little different i made up that different pillow with the artist the artist loft the flow acrylic and flow us flow troll and then this was australian flow troll for the cell activator and we did get a nice response uh, there was a nice response and it dried nicely. Um, it looks like this, this, you know, this, this pillow could be an option for you. It's not as stretchy or, or springy. I had trouble with the, the middle popping back up and the middle kind of got a little bit weird, uh, as opposed to using house paint for your pillow. Uh, if you want to try acrylic acrylic paints and you know mix it with Floetrol or something else and see if it works for you. It does dry nice. It did move around okay. Uh, however, the stretchiness of it, you know, you're talking about acrylic paint versus latex paint. Latex is a lot more stretchy. And again, we had these, you know, degradation. So I'm inclined to think it's just something in the paints that is not allowing this to happen. Uh, it's, yeah. And then the fourth and final one was the Arteza's with the Arteza Ready Pour with the gel gloss again that we mixed up. Uh, and then this pillow, the Artist Loft uh, Acrylic Flow with uh, mixed with the US Flow Troll. But then I mixed up, I wanted to see, okay, maybe we'll get some action with my old US Flow Troll cell activator recipe where we added the min wax, the glue and all that. But this, this is how this dried. <laughs> And you know, it just got some weirdness in the in the middle. The paints themselves still do dry pretty cool, but this is absolutely unacceptable. So yeah, so it definitely wasn't the uh, and I mean there was there was some response in here, but not what I was after. So I so I really just think that it's uh, the Arteza paints that. Uh, aren't compatible with uh, this the the blooms technique and the cell activator and all that stuff they they'll have their place somewhere else but just not here <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video I really had a lot of fun experimenting with this and putting this together with that thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and I will see you guys next time